Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. At 10 o'clock this morning, the Prime Minister received a call from the Prime Minister of Australia informing him that two possible objects related to the search for MH370 has been identified in the Southern Indian Ocean. The Australian authorities in Kuala Lumpur have also briefed me on the situation and the Australian Foreign Minister has spoken to the Foreign Minister of Malaysia. The Australian Maritime Safety Authority continues coordinating the search for the missing Malaysian Airlines aircraft within Australia's search and rescue area with assistance from the Australian Defence Force, the New Zealand Air Force and the US Navy. AMSA's Rescue Coordination Centre, RCC, Australia has received satellite imagery of objects possibly related to the search for MH370. RCC Australia received an expert assessment of commercial satellite imagery today. The images were captured by satellite. They may not be related to the aircraft. The assessment of these images was provided by the Australian Geopartial Intelligence Organization as a possible indication of debris southwest of Perth. As a result of this information, four aircraft have been reorientated to the area 2,500 kilometers southwest of Perth. A Royal Australian Air Force T3 Orion aircraft arrived in the area at about 10.50 a.m. Another three aircraft have been tasked by RCC Australia to the area, including a second RAAF Orion, a Royal New Zealand Air Force Orion, and a US Navy P-8 <coughs> Poseidon. The Poseidon was expected to arrive early this afternoon. The second RAAF Orion was expected to depart RAF base Perth, Perth mid-afternoon. The New Zealand Orion was due to depart this afternoon. An RAAF C-130 Hercules aircraft has been tasked by RCC Australia to drop data make, uh, marker buoys to assist in drift modelling. They will provide an ongoing reference point if the task of relocating the objects becomes protected. A merchant ship that responded to a shipping broadcast issued by RCC Australia on Monday is also <coughs> expected to arrive in the area this afternoon. The Royal Australian Navy ship HMS Success is en route to the area but some days away. The ship is well equipped to recover any objects located and proven to be from MH370. Every effort is being made to locate the objects seen in the satellite imagery. It must be stressed that these sightings, while credible, are still to be confirmed. The search for MH370 is a multinational effort. I will now give you an update on the assets which have been deployed. During the course of this operation, the Chief of the Defence Force has spoken to his counterparts from countries including Australia, China, India, Indonesia, Japan, Maldives, Nepal, New Zealand, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, the UK and the USA. All were very supportive and all offered their assistance. As the focus of the search has moved from the South China Sea, and Straits of Malacca to the northern and southern corridors, our international partners have continued to provide whatever support they can. A number of assets have been deployed at different phases of the search and rescue operation, and currently there are 18 ships, 29 aircrafts, and six ship-borne helicopters deployed along the northern and southern corridors as follows. In the northern corridor, there are four aircraft, two from Malaysia, one from Japan and one from the US. In the Southern Corridor, there, uh, there are 25 aircraft, two from Malaysia, five from Australia, three from China, four from Indonesia, two from India, four from Japan, one from New Zealand, two from South Korea, one from the UAE, and one from the US of A. All 18 ships are in the Southern Corridor, six from Malaysia, one from Australia, five from China, and six from Indonesia. This deployment includes six helicopters, three from Malaysia and three from China. Until we are certain that we have located MH370, search and rescue operations will continue in both corridors. I can confirm that Malaysia is sending two aircraft to Kazakhstan and the UK is planning to send one ship to the southern corridor. 
In addition to the assets I just listed above, a number of countries in the Northern Corridor are carrying out search and rescue operations within their own territory. China is using every means possible, including 21 satellites, to search the area within its borders and is ready to send more ships and aircraft wherever they are needed. In Cambodia, four helicopters are conducting search operations within <coughs> Cambodia territory. The Laos Air Force is carrying out search operations within Laos. Singapore are using their International Information Fusion Center, where a Malaysian representative is stationed to notify mariners and help with the search. The Thai military are conducting search operations in the northern part of Thailand with all available aircraft. And Vietnam are conducting search operations within their territory using an unspecified number of aircraft. Together, this represents a significant international force deployment. And I am thankful for the cooperation of our partners as we continue to focus on finding MH370. <coughs> Families, the high-level team I announced yesterday is leaving for Beijing this evening. I would also like to confirm that representatives from the Malaysian government spoke to the families who were present here yesterday. In addition, the Prime Minister's special envoy to China and the Chinese ambassador to Malaysia will leave a briefing today for the Chinese families who are here in Kuala Lumpur. Also in, in attendance will be the Department of Civil Aviation, the Armed Forces, the Royal Malaysian Police, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and MAS. A similar briefing will also be held for the other families. Ladies and gentlemen, for the families around the world, the one piece of information that we want most, that they want most, is the information we just don't have, the location of MH370. Our primary focus has always been to find the aircraft, and with every passing day, our efforts have intensified. Yesterday, I said we wanted to reduce the area of the search. We now have a credible lead. There remains much work to be done to deploy these assets, and this work will continue overnight. Thank you.